Hi everybody, thank you for coming back to Aaron Balayo channel. My name is Emily and I'm her sister. This video is about sex and our children and how and what not. Hello guys, uh, welcome back. I've already been introduced. I can only start the conversation. So we're going to share about raising kids in a sexualized era. We both have two children each and uh yeah different so. ages but then also i know these issues with children Aaron, but we should not forget that we are still children and they are much older people that are struggling with the whole sexualized world even when they're in their 20s mm -hmm. and teens though our children may not be that old yet i know many of you have very older children and mm. this could also work for them yeah so emily what have you done to help your kids you know to empower them and prepare them for today's world <sighs> today's world is unforgiving like mm -hmm. it doesn't wait it's on the tunes that they are watching it's at school <sighs> it comes early mine were exposed when <laughs> they were very early one was exposed at three so just to talk about what are we like what do we mean like the world is sexualized what is the picture right now like for you what do you see or what's your experience i feel like children are exposed to sex or sexuality at a very young age sex is everywhere or sexual images in the songs they are watching the movies the i don't know everything the clothes they are wearing are sexual i mean you find that a young child is dressing in a not very nice way and oh yeah that. like even you're watching and it's interesting how for me i spend a lot of time around teenagers so every time they say like they see something good like hey you've done a good thing like wow that's sexy i know right like why would you want why would, to be sexy then they say why would you eat that it's not sexy yeah, yeah. like sex has been normalized anyway it's no longer a sacred thing mm, for marriage yeah like we the christians or, believe or. so like you will see people advertising cars dry cells sweet machines metals everything and is advertised using a hot an image babe a hot or, babe hot naked babe yeah <laughs> so it's ah. cold meanwhile you're there teaching your children how to dress like decently mm -hmm. and then they are seeing and then it's in the in, it's in the clothes area. <laughs> I don't know if you experience it. In my house myself when I go to buy clothes, aren't they making clothes for us anymore? I feel like they're making yeah. clothes for children. But when you pay attention, they're for adults. Yeah. Like every, there's so much nakedness. There's now so if much. you you think like clothes they make are for kids, but I tell you who is, who is better <laughs> short than that. Yeah. It's hard to get a decent yes. dress. Everything is short and clingy and and you know sometimes you you just save an egg yeah and i know like you as an adult you can like maneuver and find your way around the world but the children many of them are in that moment where they don't know what is good for mm -hmm. them or the, yeah. how dangerous this path may turn out for them basically we we want to just discuss those tips that are going to help us as caretakers mm -hmm. guardians mothers fathers teachers community leaders whoever we are work yeah. with the little children in our lives mm. to help them like that's true because the danger at the end of the day what we are trying to prevent is that when something is in your face all the time all the time it gets normalized eh? so before you know it your five year olds they'll be experiencing things you are hoping they do as they when they are adults mm. so tip number one so tip number one is starting sex education early well, how early? Like what's early? As early as possible. For me, I believe sex education can even start as early as like one year. As long as your child is able to talk, though it just has to be age appropriate. So at one year, you can start teaching your child body parts, start teaching them, you know, this is a nose face, these are your breasts and your genitals, and these are private areas and parts. people touch. Don't you touch them and things like that. That already is sex education. No, it's, it's like they, I have observed your children, how they have grown to understand that they have privacy, even within the family, like they want to dress up. The 
two year and a half old now coming to three will not dress up when her five year old sister is watching and she will say mommy don't eh, don't come in i'm dressing are you up my privacy yeah though i never done the sister same. yes but it's okay it's yeah. okay really because mm. old habits die hard if they grow yeah. up like that only that trying to promote the same thing and i'm like don't get in there your sister is bathing why are you there and then one time they told me mommy mine don't go to the bedroom that is bathing yeah. you want to peep at daddy like at that time they've not yet understood like ah the limits are there me i'm married this is there you know so but i appreciate like mm. i appreciate i'm like mm. so this has really sunk in yeah, but you can also tell them because now me that part of saying you know sometimes when we are dressing up they also tell them about privacy and all so sometimes when one of us is dressing up they say daddy don't go there mommy is dressing, dressing up. up so i've started telling them that mommy and daddy are married and when you're married it's okay you're one it's like okay. you share everything mm -hmm. so it's okay so anyway point is start sex education early age appropriate so <clears throat> you know how we used to learn about sex like when you're old or your parent is not even the one who's teaching you about sex now as parents we must step up and be the first voice of information about sex to your children because then you can determine when and what they learn otherwise if you leave it to chance someone out oh there is God. going to poison your child and teach them the wrong Ali. information yeah. Ali. Until early, don't be there thinking your nine year old is young. Banang, the things they're talking mm. about at school, you'll be shocked. People are even sexually active. You know, I once so had an experience them. where I went to my daughter's school, she was in middle class, that's around four years. Mm -hmm. So they were doing a class activity outside, and I got a chance, like, to, you know, parents come, they let you, you know, how you see how your children learn. Mm. So the activity involved like five children at a time so the rest of the class was sitting somewhere i joined them and then as they're there unattended to as such mm. one boy says come i show you come i sh come i show you no they don't do like that come i show you how they do so this boy comes and smooches and a girl here then he said that is eh? but that is not how auntie so and so does like the child was sharing what she sees at home mm -hmm. auntie so and so and uncle so and so do so she came to show them at school wow. so i'm like oh my god so this girl is receiving information and learning things you as a parent you know not of but i, I imagine if the child was aware of this is private don't do that to me mm -hmm. she will stand up to him and say excuse me you're not supposed to do that or even go and report to the teacher yeah so knowledge is important as yeah. early as possible so empower your mm. children with knowledge another thing that we should like seriously work on as parents or caretakers mm. we have to be sensitive about this era of gadgets our our children are learning on the phone schools are asking us for uh, tablets computers we have wi-fi internet internet and we have pop-ups on this on this like on the on the yeah. search engines you you like a child is on an academic website and then something pops up and then you know they can be intriguing mm. do this if, if you want to do this have you seen those pop-ups which say come and rescue me like you see this girl mm. and she's asking for help come and rescue me and you our children click are and innocent. boom yes, horns. yes. <laughs> so we have to mm. control our gadgets i think that there are things which limit like we can limit access let me say like if you go on the internet you can limit access yeah of, of certain websites and then pay attention website. you can block them but also pay attention drop in on your children once in a while to check whatsapp check the search history mm -hmm. just be attentive and you know how we can be tired when we can be tired or we can be busy so you're like have the phone have the phone every time your child is disturbing you're like brenda brenda have the phone so those things we have to be careful really yeah. then also the tvs which channels let the children know don't just say don't do this don't do this don't do this let them understand why you're telling them don't do this mm. so for me you'll find you'll hear my children say don't watch that it's bad it has powers or it has people are doing bad manners yeah? i i know that controlling gadgets is important but it's not just the gadgets because people children are introduced to sex even without gadgets yeah you have to control what they read so for me that's true i feel like like i love to read 
and I went to a school in Olive that was pro reading and we had a library and we had access to books but guys the books I oh was my reading God. We also had I'm embarrassed to admit like they they were not good. They they were very sexualized. Were all, and so they all, all, I feel like eighty percent. Yeah, like you they know handsome holes. guy can meals mm. and boons mm. or but was it Jackie Collins? I don't Barbara know. something. Yeah, Barbara Johnson. No 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 not Johnson. Some name Barbara some husband and you yeah. explicit. Like you yeah, finish as language. you are reading it, you are even doing like this, mm. like you know. <laughs> And like guess what? Those a, books are always donations. Yeah, and, and those school goes out of there to, to buy them, but yeah. because we love free things, we end up exposing our children to such. So you have to mind what books your child is reading. Don't just go out there and celebrate that. Oh, my child is such That's a good reading. reader. Like my that dear, girl can be read porn because mm. I remember reading. You know, there'd be a dirty book. And it would sell like hot cake, like people. That, yeah. There'd be a line after, after you, after, after you, and you're all reading, and you look back and say, you know, it plants images in you yeah, and man, expectations. Yes. Then suddenly, which are unrealistic, very first of all. unrealistic, and it's just it's bad. So you can mind the gadgets, but also mind the literature that they're exposed to, and also the music. You know how. Until these days when a song is not sexualized, it's like it won't yeah. sell. So you find a child saying these words and even like a sweet words. love song which has like great lyrics. When you watch the video, you you can be shocked. Like, like someone why? is naked, they are shaking mm-hmm. their bums, they are what. So I and sometimes you know we actually as parents are ones exposing our children because when we are watching, watching that music in their presence, in their presence, they are singing along. We even tell them dance for me. But you know, that's true. But this cowboy so can sexual. dance. Mm-hmm. This, that's what we keep saying. Yeah, like they are so sexual. And you're planting unconsciously. You know, you plant another image with water. And before you know it, you are harvesting. Fruits. So, yeah, let's be very careful what they are listening to, what they are feeding their eyes with. Even what you yourself are, are you, talking. You, yeah, what you say. But even you, your activity even, as parents. Mm. Yeah, you might be limiting all these things and then... The children see you or hear you so try to ensure privacy and protect the children even as you empower them with knowledge protect them as much as possible by monitoring their access to this knowledge like let them have age appropriate knowledge about sex we've kind of already talked about this like talking mm. to the child giving them sex education but also answering their questions this is about communication with your parents some parents are so rigid and and like, tough so and too, pretend too like tough. sex is not in their lives yet they have children <laughs> i don't know how that is possible so learn to talk to your child and like leaving communication lines open like leaving the door open such that a child can always come to even if it's a challenge you know like at the end of the day the thing you want to prevent unless mm. it is rape really mm. It happens slowly by slowly. Mm-hmm. The child is, finds out about this. They are told this. They have no one to talk to. You're too tough. You're mm-hmm. too tired. But then you also too know that holy. you're too holy. You mm-hmm. know how they say that also rape. Like people are raped by their the clothes. Yes. Relative. And guess what? They always tell them if you tell anyone. Yeah. And for your communication lines are what clothes? Like if mm-hmm. I tell mommy she's going to do this. But really, it's and maybe as parents we we need to understand that communication in is not defined by you talking to the child. Oh yeah. It's it has like to be really, like you have to be approachable so that your child can come to you. And even when the child has been exposed, there can should they be say to that you, freedom. Can they come and say, you know what, mommy, I saw this, and this so I saw yeah. did this to me. Mm-hmm. So communication lines being open and for both parents. <laughs> we know we have these things like what? What did you say? Go to your father <laughs> or go yeah. to your mother. Did you talk to your auntie? Mm-hmm. I think you know for me I remember when we were growing up how the certain things they expected maybe the aunties to be the, to be the ones to, to say share. them to parents. Mm-hmm. We need to keep our lines open and unlimited, like the topics are not limited. That if it's study, yeah. you only talk about books and, and money. Yeah. Then mommy you can talk about homemaking, what what what, what. no. Let it be like because also maybe if we go further you can another point that i can really really support or bring up here is spending time with people 
or now your children in this case when you spend time with them among other benefits all things that keep coming like when you spend time with people you get to know them mm-hmm. you feel them they share they open up you have to spend time with the children yeah. create time, quality should you time. Eat? yeah spending time doesn't mean being home and being on your phone or sleeping being mm-hmm. in your bed are you actually doing doesn't mean things? being around them yeah. it's being with them and being present and engaged. living not existing yeah. living and you see sometimes the 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 avenues through which our kids are actually exposed to sex at an early age are because these people are paying attention to them which we are not doing with them, which we parents are not doing so when you spend time with them you're kind of feeling that void they're not going to go out there and be you know led astray by some person who's being extra loving because you as a parent you've already filled their love tank but in relation to that Emily I feel that as parents we have to mind the company our kids are keeping, keeping their friends the neighbors when you're home and you're tired on a saturday on a sunday you want peace and quiet good for you where are the children who mm-hmm. are they with yeah, what are they also doing? the people in our homes because and there's so many stories of people who have been sexual children who have been sexually abused by uncles Cousins. the house boy cousins man you like the close people so you have to mind who's in your home you have to keep checking how they are related don't with trust your child. people too much don't allow them to be giving mm. your children phones just like that these people have porn on their phone True. and that's how your kids are getting exposed so you have to be mindful of the company they keep and also spend time with them ah as a girl my god I think it's very important to give your children money mm-hmm. as young as they like don't wait when she's at the university give your five year old money do it of course wisely eh? they may have yeah. worked for it or what mm-hmm. but let them have money like I don't want I don't want my child to start admiring this so that I want them to be able to okay give them money and yes by and money. Most, most people apart from giving giving them attention giving them the love they never get from home it is food like eating well and it's the money. And money yes yeah. so i i hope that we as parents or guardians we can have make sure our children have access to money or at least they should know when they need something and they come to it me come to you. yeah i will be able to provide it mm. because you see this whole sugar daddy thing or you ask you ask any young lady in 20s what is that top thing on your list for the guy you need to get married to they tell you he should money. have money mm-hmm. he should have money it's not that they want money so much they want the life that money can give for yeah. them and many times it's what we at home as parents you've not been able to giving. provide yeah. so i'm not exactly promoting us ditching like dishing money to the children but let's let's make sure that our children have money at least in the holiday let them work they have money let them have an account such as when some guy with a Rolex store comes and says I'm going to buy you this I'll give you 10k the girl is like 10 what I have 200 code my account which is that. my personal money yeah. so money it stops being that Something important that to them to yeah. entice your child yeah. so please give empower them financially and then maybe beyond money the whole thing of being seduced by items let's gift guys yeah, let's gift it's our okay children. me i think when you gift someone like something when it's not their birthday mm. makes it more doesn't sense. rain like it's no more or our hands don't break yes <laughs> so buy something and, and they say why are you giving me this and like just i think you're special mm-hmm. so by the time some good guy or some lady comes to seduce your son with things the boy is like <laughs> i've had it all yeah it's nothing that he gave me this last mm. year <laughs> so so yeah Give give, give 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 your children realistically our children are exposed to different like degrees eh? some it is so bad like it's it's traumatic already but judging the degree of exposure mm-hmm. we need to take our children for help it might if if you are not enough like of course you re, you need to reassure the children but beyond that let them talk to someone maybe they look up to or they trust we can also seek help from counselors yeah professional they need counseling help. Yeah, they, they need, need help. help sometimes 
um because as parents finding out that our children have been exposed can be so emotional mm. that you're powerless yes. like you don't know what to do but then also we overreact and then scare and the child you're angry and you're like they'll Why? withdraw and they're not able to share with you so like involving a third party or even a professional in this will help take away the pressure from you because sometimes it's not just the child that needs the counseling but even you the parent so seek help don't be shy um about getting help and even paying for it because you know? this is your child's future so if you're there and your child has been exposed please seek help don't just ignore it and bury it in the sand Which seek this help. history has passed mm, please seek help and make sure that you know you're working through just restoration and replacing that habit giving the child an alternative and things like that and if your child has been exposed and you have gone through that process maybe you can share with us in the comment section what you did to get through it tell us ah um, Aaron, you know, tips you know like as we are seeing all these things happening we are saying the world out there is like we are we are separating ourselves as if as we are not. <laughs> but at the end of the day um when at the beginning we were saying how children learn unconsciously or subconsciously mm -hmm. uh we as parents what example are we setting how are we dressing are we swearing what are we saying are we also like uh, you're there you are you're having like one night stands and your children are seeing like you're there you are an uncle children are seeing you changing every day or you are an aunt or a mom you're going out how do you dress how excited are you on the phone like they see like you know how do we talk on the are we examples basically but bringing it close at home what are you watching at home with your kids what is in your phone do you know some of us are not actively like watching porn but the images that are sent through our whatsapp groups or yeah and you, you know you like can is. be like but they're just sending they're yeah just like sending. sometimes you don't even know but you're in that mm. chick group where people are sending nude you know things the songs that you're watching we already talked about music so your child is watching you can't parents. just be there saying don't do this way mm. you, you go to your whatsapp uh, whatever settings okay. under info disable the default media visibility and say no so that something can only download on your phone if you With open your it yes yeah. my god my god and mm -hmm. keep like sieve through your phone because sometimes you know these things open eh? yeah like you know you're busy your phone is there the kids are all over the phone and you've not yet seen you've not yet seen guys check or put a password if you have to like you can lock your your whatsapp, your WhatsApp for example your social media yeah. you know lock them if you have to but then also you can keep your children away from your phone you, you can, can choose try at least and you know how kids can be like hmm daddy's phone mm, but mommy's phone it. i can do oh daddy's phone i can do but mommy's phone so if you feel you're not comfortable like you're not so sure keep the children away from yours give them theirs okay mm -hmm. if you can afford yeah which is well monitored so finally as usual but probably most importantly oh. let's pray for our children oh there's nothing oh prayer God. cannot solve or do so while we're doing all these practical tips let us engage in spiritual battle cover our children in the blood pray for their friends break bondages yeah. some of these things are um, like coming from us as souls what we went through as children what mm -hmm. we did what they did to us what our grandparents did mm -hmm. and this whole thing is just moving and the children are struggling with these spirits and then the whole sexual thing even some children may never say but some children are already sexually being abused That's right. in their dreams also in reality but also in their dreams mm -hmm. you hear weird stories of people who tell you that something comes and uses me At people night, cover up yeah. such things they don't want to talk about them but they exist and the only thing that can keep them mm -hmm. away or protect your children is prayer your prayers you your prayers you in the blood of jesus commit them to god he will mm -hmm. shield them he will protect them he will choose for them yeah the friends to have for example that's true this so, can go on and on and on and on yeah but we gotta go so thank you for watching bye